hello folks. Yeah, it's really, really cold this evening. It's about quarter to five. I'm just waiting to go meet bro at East Avon because uh, I left my phone in his car on Sunday along with my Spiz Gillet or Gillette, whatever they call that sleeveless body thing. But I'm taking bro a gift. There it is, like a meat feast piece. Piece, <laughs> meat feast pizza. That's for bro for coming to meet me. I'm so kind to my brother. There's bro. It's me. Have you got my stuff? Yes, I have. Have you got what I need? And my phone. Oh, no. Oh, dear. There should be in the pocket, I think. I hope it's there. Feast pizza, 409 calories per half slice. Oh my Obviously, lord, yeah, so it's going to be really. I have just a quarter for my tea. Right, well, just, right, well <laughs> while we're here, I'd just like to give a nice a big shout out to our dad, who isn't very well at the moment. Yes. So, dad, if you're watching this, I'm sure you will be. We yeah, love you. Yes, get well soon, father. We'll Peace see you, and we're coming to see you on Sunday, dad, all right? So, just, just, a, quick, just a quick flying visit, yes. Yeah, just take it easy, and uh, we'll, we'll be there to, to see yes. you soon. Okay, dad, we love you. All right. Take care well soon. Thanks, Dad. Yes. You're our hero. He's the father of Spiz. <laughs> Thank you. Right on the way home, folks. I've stopped here at um, a church. Yes, I just saw it, so I thought I'd stop and see if there's a, a graveyard or anything of interest. Um, just looks like an average boring church, but uh, we'll see what we can find, eh? Here oh, we I go. found something built with stones from West Haven Stadium where the congregation first met. Hmm. What is it? Just a wall? Just a thing with a hole in it? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, a bit here as well. Alright, let's head down here, see what we can see. 18 is the age you have to be to get into the church. And 54, there you go. 1854, this bit must have been built, but there's a, there's a sort of like a Norman-esque bit at the side there. It's very, Oh, what a nice looking church actually. Oh, the top there. oh but I just saw it ends at this bit. I'll go around the other side and see what we can see. These are all blocked off for some reason. There's something at the top there. Uh, what does that say? Neo Limi Consermator or something. Oh, I don't know what that says. Hmm. Well, quite a nice building actually. Yeah, well that seems to be it. I thought there might be a wee graveyard or something here, but there isn't really. All it is is a nice church building from 1854. There's nothing else really here to report. Nothing exciting at all. Um, there's a kind of gate thing there. Oh, the gate. I wonder if I should try and go through that gate. What do you think? Will I go for it? Well, through the gate, there's just a play area for kids, obviously. So, anyway, there we go. Thank you. Okay, we're stuck at a Carnoustie. Waiting on the train. Stopped off at Carnoustie Beach where the waves are uh, fairly thundering in here. This is going to be good. Yeah, it's still a bit cold here. Now, the graffiti, the money tree. Hmm. What happens there? What are you supposed to do with that? Now, this leads down. with Spiz Cam or Jag Lives Cam here. What a mess. What a mess down at this beach, man. It's monkey.
there, man. Oh, I don't know what the temperatures getting towards zero. I would say that was absolutely bald dick out there. The things I do for Jagger lives. I like to make sure you've got a video to watch at least once every three days. Um, you know, because when you subscribe to some people, they don't really put a lot of videos on. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Get a video up once every three days. Thank you very much indeed for subscribing, folks. I do appreciate it. It's fantastic to, to know that people out there, I can't speak of that cold, uh, people are out there watching me do things. So thank you very much to everybody who watches. Thank you. Now I've come down here to the Carnoustie Burnside Golf Course and the Championship Course. Just, can you see me? It's really dark on this bit. Oh, anyway, right, this is the view. clubhouse here off the uh, the Burnside golf course. Now I used to come here and play with uh, two chaps, Nori and Ron and my friend Bob Saunderson. Uh, so this is the first team on here and we used to, uh, oh here comes a train. So it used to be myself and Bob against these two old duffers and honestly man you should have seen the way they would play golf they were cheating everything honestly we caught them a few times with an extra ball in their pocket you know oh I found my ball and they lost it oh and they would be on the green for two when they weren't they, they've been there for about you know it had about four or five shots so you really had to watch these two old duffers but this is the course it's great it was a lovely course there's a little hole uh got the six or something where you oh anyway it doesn't matter uh yeah lovely yeah, look at these clouds, man. Awesome. Ah, wow. Stratus clouds here. Need to get my cloud book out and have a look. That's lovely. maybe even the oldest golf shop in Scotland, established in 1883. Look at this awesome shop. This is Jack Simpson of Carnoustie. He was the Open champion in 1884. And this is his shop. That's the biggest Rolex clock in the world up there. Yes, it is. There you go. So that's a quick, uh, a quick look at the Carnoustie golf course. They're used in the uh, the championships, the Open, Dunhill. Um, oh, it's just so famous this this course here. It really is. Um, the most famous one, of course, is when uh, what was his name? The French boy Jean Van Damme de Claude or something. He went into the uh, the burn, the little burn that runs here. That's why it's called the Burnside Little River. And he was stuck in there for oh, I don't know. He had to get his shoes off and everything. And oh, disaster for him. And he lost after being like seven shots ahead. So that's your golf courses. Thank you. Oh, behind me there is some land for sale here. Prime. What does it say? Prime residential spot for doing stuff. Oh, maybe you should buy the land and. Make a little spiz shop here. What do you think? Maybe we should all club together. Yeah, there you go. And we're overlooking the, the course as well. So maybe spiz should uh, invest in some land. <laughs> right, folks, here I am outside the bin area where it's going to be cheerio, cheerio to these training shoes that I've had for years and years and years. They've seen me through many a spiz, many a Jag Lives adventure. But tonight, I stood in dog shit in Carnoustie and I just thought, well, that's it. There's bits falling off the shoes. Uh, they've had them for years and years and they're just worn out now. 
that's your hole starting to appear. So these are going in the bin and this fond farewell to my Vanguard trainers. Quite sad actually, quite emotional here as I put them in the bin. I'll give you a quick look at them. It's a bit dark here, but there they are. Air walks, so they're going in the bin. Goodbye. theme tune I think folks yeah so I mean the Jack lives theme tune it's okay but you know it's a little bit it's a bit long yeah it's about 20 seconds it's far too long for an intro so I'm going to be working on a new Jack lives theme tune as well which will probably just be this Try that for a bit. Who knows when I'll get around to it though. Right folks, continuing on from the uh, Jag Lives house day, here it is then. The completed frame, my steady cam thing. Now I've put a couple of uh, pipe layer things, I don't know what you call them things, just, just like bits of pipe insulation or something that I found. Put them on as well, so that's the whole thing complete. Now also what's going to happen here is these uh, wire things that I've got, um, I'm going to make it into like a complete body cam kit. See that will sit over there. This is movable so that can, well it was movable, well it still is so that can move up a little bit and we can just clip the uh, the whole frame around me here. Hang on till I get this up for you so you can have a good look at this. Look there you go so that will be on, the camera will be there so you can get like a, a Jags eye view. God I feel like something out of Ghostbusters. <laughs> So there you go, that's the uh, the frame. It's almost done. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to put on it like. There's a, a couple of things I could do. I mean, it's going to be quite quite good and quite sturdy. Um, the only thing I'm not really happy about is this little bit here where the tripod sits in. I'm going to have to work something out and because I, I don't want the camera up here. I want the camera down here so the centre of balance is uh, sort of there. Anyway, we'll, we'll get there. But I'm just very, very proud of myself for uh, for actually doing, getting that sorted out and doing it today. The spray painting wasn't the best thing, but there you go. I've actually done it. I've made myself a steady cam, and uh, here's to many more things. There you go. Fantastic achievement there from Jack. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for watching. And good night.